Hello there guys, welcome to day 8 of December and another episode with me, Christmas with Josh. Now as you can see we have moved down the uh, rope behind us so we can fit in the next name. This is Dark Films Mocking. And now, let's listen to chapter 8 of The Dawn of Time. All around ash, fire, corpses, ruins. This is all that's left of the central city of the Karzan universe. The central city was the last place in the universe where light and dark lords could come together. A city blessed by the mighty Karzan himself, ruled by a dark lord and a light lord. But as all centuries of peace have shown us, it never lasts forever. When Maldador came and he brought his minions, they ravaged the land, the cities, the empires and the kingdoms. Durandor walks as a fallen king, ripped between two worlds, either fight for the darkness, follow his ancient creed and fulfill his destiny as a dark lord, or fight for the light, saving the Karzan universe and his people, but losing the mighty role of a dark lord, never to be accepted into the ranks again. This is a choice everyone makes at some point, but Durandor has faced it a hundred times, being never being sure never knowing what his answers would say if he saved people, going against the creed and betraying the Dark Lords. When Actron killed him during the wrath of the Dark Lords, he lost his honor, but gave Karmadan a second chance to live again, and to keep the Brotherhood of the Dark Lords going. All around him, whispers of the dead. They surround him from every corner, the screams of the innocents, doomed to suffer eternal darkness by the hands of Maldrador himself. Drendor walks to a statue of his long dead brother, Aceris, the wise. Aceris had the ability to control the minds of his people, but when Carmadon went on a rampage, his people followed, and they storm Aceris one night. Carmadon's people were killed shortly after. Grandor bows in front of the statue. What should I do? Grandor did not expect an answer, but continued. What should I do, brother? Give me a sign. Still nothing. Lead me. Show me the way. How can I become what I was meant to be? Still nothing. Drendor gives up. He gets on his feet, leaving the statue. As he passes an older poster from one of the many shops in the ruined city, he notices that one person in the poster hasn't been blurred or scratched. It's as if this was good news. The picture is supposed to show the mighty warriors of the Karzan universe. The one being highlighted is the Actron. Is this the sign I asked for? A lightning bolt smashes into the ground next to him, and then rain starts to fall. It can't be. Actron is dead. He was killed by Karmadon. I saw him die. Another lightning bolt smashes into the ground next to Drendor. This time, he brings out his cannon. Is this a sign I asked for, brother? Archer is dead. Only gods may resurrect from the dead. He ain't a god. He's only a mighty warrior with unimaginable powers that only he can hold. At first, silence fills the ruined city, but then, a sound, like a whisper, fills the air. Who is out there? Drendor loads two shots in his cannon and swings around, looking for something. Then, the whispers get clearer.
Rendor looks around, confused by what just happened. The whispers sounds disappear, and the rain starts falling again. To regain the honor of Dark Lord, I must kill the greatest warrior that walks these lands. I must kill Archdon and regain the honor of Dark Lord. The Brotherhood must live on. I must kill Archdon and regain the horror of it. The horror? No, not horror.